In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite little pressure to use against Gun Bunch right now in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on YouTube. Now guys, in this video, like I said, I'm going to be breaking down my bunch defense. This comes to us out of the nickel 335 odd in the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. You can also find this in a couple of other ones as well as the Giants. Um, but this is the defense that I continue to go back to because it is a phenomenal pressure. I just cannot get through over how good the pressure concepts that we can create from this formation absolutely are. So that being said, we're going to dive into today's video. If you want to get my full nickel 335 odd defensive guide, we show you how to get two, three, four, five, six, seven man pressures, have answers against max protect. We also have some great run defenses in that guide and really just share with you how to use this defense to pretty much lock down um, as best as we possibly can. Now, in this video, we're going to be going over the Tampa 2. And the reason why I like to go over the Tampa 2 is because I'm actually really liking the Tampa 2 um, in this game right now. And the, and the reason is because of the cloud flats on the outside. We're actually going to change pretty much everything else about this play other than the cloud flats. So before I go too far into this video, I do want you to look at here and notice that I have the free safety inside package on. And what that's going to do is it's going to put our free safety at the slot cornerback position, and it's going to give us some secret and additional adjustments that can help make this Tampa 2 significantly better than it is right now. So let's just come out in a standard bunch play like to play mesh post and go through this blitz as well as the coverage behind it. We're just going to call Tampa 2 here, and it's honestly a really simple setup. Now... Whenever I face Gun Bunch or really any, honestly, I'm actually kind of leaning towards almost any set, but especially Gun Bunch in this year's game or Gun Bunch tight end, any compression set, I love to base a line. And the reason why I like to base a line is because if you take a look here, you're going to notice that this misalignment on the left side, um, just real quick, if I try to throw like a fade route, you're going to see that this fade route is going to basically get taken away, even though it looks open. And obviously my guy didn't catch the ball, but you see that it, it, it looked open, but it wasn't. Now, let me show you uh, that with the bunch with my, or let me put my bunch or my three wide receivers to the wide side of the field so I can break this down a little bit better as well. So if you take a look at the base alignment um, that we're gonna get from this defense, if we base align and press, take a look, you're gonna notice here that that corner is gonna maintain outside leverage on that left side corner. And that's going to kind of keep this concept from killing us okay so that's kind of why you know you can get away with base aligning against a bunch set um irregardless of whether they're to the field or to the boundary in this year's game okay so that being said i personally think that this blitz works best if you base align and press okay um now from there the coverage adjustments are going to change from what we can do with the slot corner so you're going to see here that we can put this slot corner into pretty much anything that we want. Now, I want to show something real quick um, here just to show you kind of what I'm going to look at. So, for example, I could put that corner into an outside third on the right side of the field. This is a concept from a couple years back that was really effective out of Big Nickel over G. So let me just go to the verticals play, and I'm going to go to the cover three beater out of this, and I just want you to take a look at what's going to happen here. So this is just the verticals. Watch that circle. You see we're still going to get this, but that safety typically plays that relatively relatively better than he would before. Now I'm going to go over another concept that you can also add to this. But I want to just kind of hit on this one more time and I want to show one more thing. So I'm just going to spy these guys go 7 on 7 for just a moment. Because I just want you to see uh, kind of what I'm seeing as far as the coverage. So you see here this is basically the deep shell. The cover 3 shell that we create is essentially this. Now we can do that from other sets as well that aren't in this. We'll get, but come back to that in just a second. But bottom line is let's take a look at this play from vertical. So um, right here I'm going to streak circle and streak square. And I just want you to watch circle. Um, you're going to see that if I wait on this ball, there is really that safety doesn't glitch out and I can't throw that. Okay. Now that's not to say that I can't throw any cover three beater. That's just to say that I can't throw that specific 
cover three beater, okay? That also means that we're gonna have um, kind of a little bit different type of coverage shell that I think could be even more effective. And we can do this out of other coverages. For example, let me just show you one that comes to mind off the top of my head. So if I come out in uh, this, I'll be able to audible over to the other one. So let me just come out in this and, and take a look at this real quick. This is the cover uh, corner blitz three. So this was a very popular play call last year because of the specific adjustment that you get on this left side. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So you'll see that the corner blitz, the, 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 this guy is always on this side. Now, if you take a look at the zone that he's in, he's in an outside third zone. Now, the cool part is you also have these guys that are automatically in purples and a three rec hook. Now, the reason why this is six effective is because in essence it's a Mabel coverage that is essentially created for you before you even walk on the field all you have to do is put that corner on the left on a cloud flat and then on the right side remember we like to base the line and press so we're gonna put that corner on the right on a cloud flat and then we're gonna put that slot corner on an outside third to the right side of the field so as you can see here this is what we've created so now what we do is we have our pressure, our base pressure concept essentially set up and our base coverage concept essentially set up. So all we're gonna do uh, from there is we're gonna spread our linebackers and we're gonna globally blitz our linebackers straight down. And then what I like to do with my user, um, because I'm gonna run this kind of coverage right here, I do like to bring these guys down if possible or just like show blitz or something just to kind of get them down into the box a little bit. But what you're gonna see is we are going to absolutely scream off this left edge. Now, if you think of kind of doing a numbers mathematical equation here, this is the same formula that we use out of the nickel 335. Let me show you. I'm going to audible over to the nickel 335 real quickly. And we're just going to go to Mike Blitz Zero. And you're going to see that we have five man blitzes, right? So five man pressure, just like from the nickel 335. Now, the beauty of this five-man pressure from nickel 335 odd is number one, you can create this pressure actually from less people. We teach you how to do that in the ebook. Um, but also, not only can you do that, but if the t um, in the nickel 335 wide, the major kryptonite to the, th the nickel 335 wide, in my opinion, especially from Gun Bunch, is if their opponent blocks a delay fade. If he puts a delay fade out there, it's very frequently right there. I got kind of a lucky A gap. Um, but if, if they put a delay fade out there, it's very likely that that blitz is going to be picked up. Now let's go back to the blitz that we're discussing in this video. So I'm going to do this one out of Tampa 2 this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to base line, spread our line, spread our linebackers, crash line down, globally blitz our linebackers. And then, like I said, from a coverage perspective, what I like to do is I like to take that slot corner and you can either put the slot corner in the middle third and then put the safeties in outside thirds or you could put you, you could do a roll coverage it's kind of up to you to be honest um both of i've had success with both of them the one reason why i like this is and i would almost unbase the line once i did this because look where it puts that slot corner it puts him right over that receiver and in a really good position to take away any seam streaks or anything like that now, the reason I like this is I'm going to put that same delay fade out there that I put out there from the uh, nickel 335 Y. And watch what happens out of this. You're going to see that you're going to get A gap pressure or B gap pressure from that linebacker. Oftentimes, you're still going to be able to get that edge rusher in as well. And then the really the kind of the secret sauce, um, in my opinion, to this is what this does specifically whenever the running back and the tight end are blocking. So again, I'm gonna spread my line, crash my line down, and then spread my linebackers and globally blitz all my linebackers. So now I'm gonna max protect. And what you're gonna see is when I max protect, typically we're still able to get some pressure. Um, it's not always 100% consistent, but to be honest, it's actually relatively consistent. You just have to find the right kind of positioning uh, to stand. But I will tell you that this is probably the most consistent blitz against Gun Bunch in the game. So again, we're just spreading our line, we're crashing our line down, and we're gonna stand kind of right here with our user. Now when they max protect, we're gonna hold left trigger, right trigger. We see they max protect, so we can just kind of sit there for a second. And as you see, we've got pretty much instant pressure against that Gun Bunch uh, offense. So this is why I love this 335 odd. And the other reason why I like this 335 odd is let's say that they throw a flat route, for example. Um, and, and we run that set, that coverage that I was telling you about where we have, 
you know, basically this right here. This is kind of my go-to defense right now. Uh, if you had to ask me what my best defense against Gun Bunch is, right now this is kind of what I'm going with. And like this, literally this play right here, pretty much. And what I love about it is if they try to throw a tight end flat route, yeah, he's going to give up a yard or two, but he's not going to, because he's got outside leverage, he's going to be able to come up and make a tackle and hold that to three yards. And then in certain situations, we can play some hard flats out there. We can kind of get aggressive with this, but this is kind of the way that I am combating the meta offense right now. Um, obviously, we go into a great more detail in the ebook. We show you not only how to stop bunch, we show you how to stop trips tight end, U trips, compression, spread sets, bunch tight end. I mean, pretty much you name it, we go over it in the ebook. So, thanks for watching this video. And if you like this blitz, you want to learn how to do it even better and more effectively, and by sending less people, go ahead and grab that nickel 335 odd defensive ebook. Again, there's a link in the description. You can get that defensive guide for just $15. And in my personal opinion, it's the best defense for. For defending the pass in the game right now.